Losing your children to a PGO can be devastating, but new changes to the law in Alberta can give you hope in reuniting your family. Until recently, if your child was taken from you under a permanent guardianship order, or PGO, you had 30 days to appeal this order until your rights as a guardian were lost. But the truth is, facing issues that prevented someone from keeping their children can be a long and involved process. Many people must go to the roots of their trauma to begin their healing journey. Through this journey, guardians can learn to create a safe and loving environment for their family. Acknowledging that people may go through this healing process, the Alberta government has increased the ability of a former guardian to bring their family together again. When a PGO is granted, the director becomes the child's only guardian. The new law says, after a PGO is granted, a former guardian still has 30 days to appeal the order. Following this 30-day window, or after an appeal was disposed of, if an appeal was filed, former guardians now have the ability to apply to terminate the PGO after one year, and every two years after that initial year. Even with this new opportunity in place, it is important to know the director is responsible for trying to create a stable, permanent life for any child under a PGO. If the child has been adopted, or in certain cases, if they have been placed for private guardianship, your ability to apply to terminate the PGO is gone. You should feel completely confident and ready to be a parent again. The judge and caseworker will examine your life very closely. They need to trust that you are the best possible parent for that child, and the circumstances that created that PGO won't happen again. They will not risk returning your child to an uncertain situation. You will be assessed in two basic areas, how long you have been living a healthy lifestyle and how secure is it. They will look at things like your ability to cope with stress, your employment, sobriety, home, cultural connection, intimate and family relationships, and your healing journey. Part of being a healthy parent is having strong supports. Sometimes you'll need to connect with someone who can hear you out, give you a hand, or even take your children if you need a break. The judge will look at that area of your life as well. If you have access to your child, never miss a scheduled visit. Let your child know you are working on a healthy life. Talk about the past and own up to your mistakes. Showing them that you are sorry and are working on a better future is a vital part of this process. If you feel ready, let your child's caseworker know that you want to apply to terminate the PGO. They are your best contact as you go through this. However, if you're feeling nervous, a family court worker can support you through this as well. The caseworker will help you understand important details about your child, such as their school life, interests, friends, and any types of needs they may have, like mental health or medical. Knowing these details can help you to be better prepared to care for them. The caseworker can also help you fill out your application to terminate the PGO. Having a positive relationship with your child's caseworker may be a challenge, but it is very important because they will be writing a report that looks at your current lifestyle and ability to parent. This report will play a large role in the judge's decision. Do your best to show them what you're doing to live a healthy life. The bottom line is, the court needs to trust that you are the best person to parent your child at this point in time. it is highly recommended that you connect with some form of legal assistance. There are several options, including Native Counseling Services of Alberta. Remember, 
This is not an easy process and it is not an easy form to fill out. Legal assistance helps you have the best chance of having your case succeed in court. The application asks why you are applying to terminate the PGO. This can be a complicated question. Look at why the original PGO was granted and talk about how these things have changed. For example, if drug use was a reason for the PGO, you could talk about what you've done to live clean and sober and remove drug influences from your life. Although there are no costs associated with filling out an application, there may be other costs you come across, such as ordering transcripts, certain kinds of legal assistance, or bringing a professional witness, like a psychologist, to speak to the judge. When your application makes it to court, the judge will make one of three decisions. Your application may be dismissed and the PGO remains in effect. The judge may grant your application with a supervision order making you the guardian again, but with supervision by the director to ensure your family's success. Finally, the judge might completely grant your application making you the guardian without any further orders. There is a new hope that comes with this process, but there is a new responsibility as well. This is your application, and it's your job to prove that you are the parent your child deserves. If you need any more information or support on appealing a PGO order, contact NCSA. You can also check out bearpawteducation.ca for a copy of the application and instructions.